Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I am going to show you today how to do a process that I have coined as inlay. Uh, it is a way that you can take glitter HTV and you can build, it's almost a patch. It's really neat. So this entire thing would be done in glitter HTV and you're doing it without layering because glitter HTV can't be layered on top of itself. There can't be uh, anything on the, the glitter HTV has to be the top layer. There can't be anything over that. So what we're doing here is we're making it all one layer. So you can see that all of that is a single layer and then it kind of just pieces together like a puzzle. And then same goes here. Oops. Well, same goes for the green. So I'm going to teach you how to build that inlay out of any line drawing that you have. Any, like I do a lot of projects like this that are weeding projects. Uh, and I'm going to teach you how to build that inlay uh, so that you can do it for yourself on any project you want. It's really, it's it's a neat effect when you're, when you're done. It's super sparkly. Um, before we go any further, subscribe now. I'm coming out with new videos once every probably four or five days. Um, just a lot of ways to make you a better designer, whether that be in Cricut Design Space or externally on uh, programs like Inkscape that can help you bridge some of those design gaps that, in, or that uh, Design Space has. Um, so like I said, subscribe now. You'll get notifications when the new videos come out. Also, join me on Facebook. We have an absolutely fantastic group, um, about 125,000 people, super friendly, super knowledgeable, super helpful. Um, just a great group. We'd love to have you there with us. So uh, join us. <laughs> and I'll link that in the description. Um, let's get started. So we'll get rid of this. This is super, super easy. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this and we are going to duplicate that. And then we're going to take this and we're going to, with it selected, you can see it has a box around it. That means it's selected. We're going to click contour. And now anything that we select in here, it's going to get rid of. So what we first want to get rid of is that outside. Okay, so that's going to get rid of that. So if I close, I want to show you if I, if I close this now. Oops, that didn't work. I must click the wrong thing. It's okay. So click contour. And get rid of that. And then click that. Keep messing up. I'm trying to get rid of the outline. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now if I close it. So now all I have is those inside pieces and I, I already got rid of some of these. So that's okay. I'll show you how to get those back. So click contour again. And just click it again to get it back. So now we have all those pieces. We want to get rid of this because all that is is this little piece right here that's in between the vine and the pumpkin. We only want the in the inside pieces of the pumpkin. And that should be all of them right there. So now what we want to do is we want to duplicate that because we're going to do the stem green and the pumpkin orange. If you wanted to get really fancy, you could even go and do the flowers red or these leaves green or however you want to do it. And the more colors that you add to an inlay, the cooler of an effect it gives. It really, um, it's neat. So if you look on my on my uh, channel, you'll see uh, there's a video of one of a pumpkin that I built like this a year or two ago. Okay, so with it selected, again, press contour. And now what we're going to do is, now there's two ways to do this. You can do it over here or you can do it over here. Now you can also, 
increase this size so that you can better see what you're doing. And then let's get rid of all of these. Okay. Now let's make that orange. I am going to, you have to kind of bear with me here as far as, um, as far as the extra grid, you can see how my grid is super dark and you can see how um, I'm moving this watermark. See how I have a watermark on there and I'm moving this one over here. That's to protect the designer's images. I almost didn't do this video because it's super important to me that uh, designer's images aren't used without their permission. Um, and I knew that it would be difficult to protect the designer's image in this video. Uh, so that's why you see this, you know, the grid that I built behind it and the watermark on it. Um, you know, designers work really hard and they, you know, we, we are very lucky to have um, the excellent designers that we have that bring designs like this and uh, many others. So, you know, if you want to design, pay the $2 for it or $4 for it or whatever the designer is asking rather than trying to use it without their permission. Just way too much of that in our industry. Uh, so now we're going to take this and we are going to contour that. And this one's going to take a little bit because we got to get all of this out of here. But that's okay. You don't mind hanging out with me. So um, I will go ahead and I will link this design in the description. This is by one of my absolute favorite designers. Her name, she goes by Digital Gems. Um, so I'll link, I'll link this design in the description, the video description. But also check out the rest of her store. She is an absolute gem. Maybe that's why her store is named Digital Gems. So, but seriously, I mean, there's, there's designers that you just, when you, when you buy something from, you just know that you're going to get quality. And that is, you know, the name Digital Gems is synonymous with, with quality. Even though this takes a little bit of time, the end result is so worth it. It's, I mean, it's super spectacular, especially if you use like um, a dark slate gray for the outside or um, even like, a, you know, a, a Caesar black or something like that. Um, just something, you know, super dark to set off the orange and the green of the pumpkin. And when you have the two two sparkles laid right next to each other like that, it really plays off of each other. It's it's a neat effect. And just so that you know, uh, this, if it's properly pressed, you know, with a heat press, and um, I also use pressing pillows to make sure that I get a perfect press every time. Um, but when it's properly pressed, this inlay will never peel on you. That's the problem. That's why you can't layer glitter on top of glitter is that it doesn't have the ability, there's no adhesion, so, or, or you know, limited adhesion. So um, you end up getting peeling or whatever over time. With this, if it's properly pressed, you absolutely won't. The shirt that I made, the one that was in the video I was telling you about, that's been washed a million times. Maybe not a million, but quite a few with zero problems. So.
I'm lost. So there we go. That's that. Now we can close this. And now you have this piece. So then make that green. And there you go. And that is literally, that. that is, that's all there is to it. That is how you inlay. Now, when you go to press this, the way you'll press it is you will first press, kind of a perfectionist, so even though it's just for the video, it'll drive me nuts if I don't get that straight. So anyways, um, when you go to press this, what you'll do is you will press the outline first, press the outline, remove your carrier sheet. Uh, and then put the orange in or the green in and it'll fall right in there like a jigsaw puzzle because what you have that you have this which is you know the converse of that so you like I said you would first press the black press that press that outline so that you're putting it exactly where you want it on your substrate and then press the orange you know remove your carrier sheet then press your orange on top of that remove the carrier sheet and then press the green and remove the carrier sheet. Um, I like to do tack presses, so I'll press that. I'll press the black layer first for like three to five seconds, just long enough to get the carrier sheet off. Uh, that helps with shrinkage so that everything still lines up because HTV does shrink a little bit each time you press it. It's not as bad with glitter as it is with regular HTV, uh, but just because that's the way I do it, I'll tack press it for three to five seconds, get that carrier sheet off, tack press the next layer, three to five seconds, carrier sheet off, final layer, carrier sheet off. And then I do a full press. Once I have all the layers down, I'll press it for 30 or 45 seconds for however long. Um, but that's it. That's, I mean, that's all there is to it. Uh, like I said, I will link this design in the description. Absolutely check out her shop. She's amazing. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, you can ask me here, or, you know, come join us in the group. I'm always more than happy to help with anything you need help with. Uh, and that's it. Have a good day. Bye.